Hey, what's up, Eric? Uh, this is a quick demo video for you for your custom MHS build. Uh, this is installed with the Profi. It's got a lot of blinkies on it. So I've got the two switches that you provided. The blue lit switch will be your power. The yellow lit switch over here will be your auxiliary. All right, and you've got a stock clamp card underneath this bubble strip. Um, I did not glue this in. I found a different way to build up some material on the insides of these two flanges. That way, if you ever really need to take it out to do something, it, it's still able to be worked on. All right, but it's not, it's not going anywhere right there. It's nice and firm in there. Uh, you've got a Carl Chen V4 NeoPixel connector. So we'll light that up here in a second. And then to get to your chassis, you just want to unscrew the handle. All right, so... Unscrew the handle here. Slide this off and this is your chassis right here. All right, so you've got your profi board right here. It is a tight snap fit down into the shelf, uh, but you can access everything from right here. So SD card, micro USB. Uh, you had mentioned getting a sound font package in a config from someone, but I hadn't heard from you yet today, and I wanted to go ahead and get this out to you. So for now, it just has my own uh, sound font on it, and a copy of that config file is on the SD card. All right. Um, you've got a kill switch right here in front of the board, uh, a removable battery setup. And this is what the other side of the chassis looks like. <clears throat> Fully enclosed. 28 millimeter smugglers outpost elite speaker as well all right so this saber is uh super loud please remember spring side for your battery negative okay and you put your battery in it should just snap right in just like that we're good to go come over here and flip our kill switch so you got your clamp card doing a little something different and then your switches are also doing a little something different when the saber's off until we hit power. These two animations change up, and so does this one. All right. All your LEDs and they're firing up. And you've got twist off. So we'll just put the handle on here, lock the handle down. I did glue in that thread piece there so it wouldn't spin out on you. Uh, it's also something that I had to use to lock the chassis into, so I didn't want it moving. All right. But once we lock the handle all the way down, you can see also, too, I got the DEF CON bird wrap that you provided with the saber. This saber sounds pretty beefy. Auxiliary over here. and twist off now when you want to put a blade in here this piece is reverse threaded so when you go righty it's righty loosey lefty tighty all right well we'll go ahead and we'll take this piece off real quick put this off to the side it does take a one inch diameter neopixel blade and just make sure we can fit that through yeah we're going to want to you want to take your emitter piece put your blade in like that and just have it up here a little bit you do have four different blade retention screws right at the very top um, I'm just going to use one of them for the demo, but depending on how hard you want to swing this guy around, it might be a good idea to use all four because, uh, you know, typical of thin necks, the blade depth is not the greatest, but with those four retention screws, it more than makes up for it. All right. And then remember when you lock it down, it is lefty tighty. You don't want to crank on it though, or you'll never get it off. All right. So here. <laughs> This reacts to your flash out clock. Flash out. And if you want blade lock up, hold it down and hit the saber. And we'll get that animation here too. play your soundtrack it's a long press on the power and another long press. 
supposed to turn off just like that. All right, so we'll go ahead and break this down. Again, we'll take our emitter back off. Slide it up the blade just a hair. I need to find the one that I tightened. No idea which one it is. They all look the same. Oh, there it is. So back that up just a little bit. Take our blade out. Put our emitter back on. Oh, Lucy tidy. That gets me every time. Every time I have something that is reverse threaded. Um, I never get used to it. All right, but we'll go ahead and take our handle back off. And then I'll show you that the kill switch is working like it should as well. All right. We'll just unscrew this real quick. Turn the saber on. And flip it off from here. All right, and it kills it just like it should. Uh, you can leave your battery in there, of course, with the kill switch. But eventually, you will need to take it out to charge it. Just take it out from the positive side by the speaker. And I use a small tool because it is a tight fit. And just come in here and pop it out like that. All right. Uh, but that is basically your MHS build. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and I will get this out in the mail to you um, by tomorrow. Thanks.